Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to discuss about on delete clause of foreign key constraint in Oracle SQL. So in my previous video I have discussed about all the constraints, also about the foreign key constraint. In this constraint I am taking the on delete clause of the foreign key constraint in depth. Okay, so before that let me just uh, give a quick rewind of uh, what are constraints. So constraints are basically rules and regulation that help us to maintain data accuracy and integrity in our schemas, right? So they help us that we don't end up having junk data in our tables. So one of them of that constraint is foreign key constraint. So what foreign key constraint says is it specifies that the value in the column must correspond to the values in the referenced primary key or unique key or that they are null means if employee the employees table has three uh, columns employee id employee name and department id i can have a foreign key on department id column referencing to some other table okay say suppose department's master table so whatever data is present in this department id the primary key or the unique key of this department's table will only be allowed in this child table that is this employees table so it is a parent table child table relationship where a child uh, tables column which is being which uh, which is you know referencing some other column cannot contain data other than what is present in the master table so over here department uh, table acts as the master table has this primary key called as department id the employees table acts as the child table has this uh, column called as department id which refers to the data present in the department's tables department id column so this department id of employees table cannot have any other data other than null or other than what is present in the master table so basically when for we create a foreign key as we i have shown in this previous video and if you try and insert data into child table which is not present you get parent not found error right so that even uh, you get in all the clauses but what happens is if you are deleting a record from the parent table say how i showed that if we are trying to delete this department id 10 from this department table and if there is department id 10 present in this child table in this employees table uh, with employee id 100 and 101 then you get child record found ki kind of an integrity constraint from oracle and you are not able to delete this record from the parent table so simple uh, we can state it like if a child record is present in the child table you cannot delete the record from the parent table okay so that is one constraint where that is constraint is given in this on delete no action clause which is the by default clause with the foreign key so when you write uh, foreign key on the column references table column it is by default on delete no action that means if do not let the parent be deleted if a child record is present okay but two more options are available on delete cascade and on delete set null in this video we will look at both of these on delete cascade and on delete set null so I'll just quickly jump on the SQL developer over here I'll create a table called as demo department okay and I have inserted few records into that so my demo department is my parent table where my department ID is the primary key I have three records such as uh, department ID 10 which is IT department name department ID 20 which is HR department department ID 30 which is admin department so when you query this table you find these three records okay and I have created a child table demo underscore DMP where I have EMP ID number employee name where care to and department ID number okay presently I have not given any foreign key constraint to it so I'll just add the foreign key constraint like alter table table name add constraint constraint name foreign key department ID references the reference table that is demo underscore department the master tables name and which column of the master table it is the department ID column okay and if I don't write anything if I just create it like this you know this table is altered now I'll insert some values into this table these values are like I'm entering uh, three, four employees 
with department as 10, 10, 20 and null. As I discussed in my previous video, you can insert null values in your column uh, even if null value is not present in the parent table. Please do look at that video, my previous video on foreign key constraint to understand all of this. Okay. So what I want to show is like if you are now trying to delete from your parent table that is demo underscore department where department ID is equal to 10 as you know that in this child table that is demo employees you already have records with department ID 10. So when you try and delete it it throws an error saying child record found. This is when you have created your reference without any on delete clause. Okay. If you don't know what is presently you can just hover on to your table definition. Say my this table is demo underscore EMP. I can just go on my table. Um, I will just refresh this. And I will find demo underscore EMP here. If I go into constraint you can see my foreign key constraint over here. It has a delete rule of no action. That means it is nothing but on delete no action. Okay. So when it is no action and you try and delete data from the parent table, when that uh, rec uh, data is being referenced in the child table, you get this error. Integrity constraint violated, child record found. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll just drop this table and show the other two. So I'm dropping this table demo underscore EMP, my child table. I'm recreating it the same way. And now I will add constraint, this foreign key constraint like alter table table name, add constraint constraint name, foreign key. I'm putting my foreign key on department ID column over here, which references the master table that is demo department with the column department ID. And I'll write on delete cascade. And when I execute this, as you can see, the table definition is altered. Now if I go over here, I'll just refresh it. Now you can see that the delete rule is changed to cascade. Before it was no action. Okay. So that is nothing but I'm showing you this on delete cascade option. So what happens in on delete cascade option is like, I'll just insert this few records into the child table. I'll just show that the child table has records with department ID 10, 20 and null. Okay. And in the parent table you have record with 10, 20 and 30. Now if I try and delete this 10, okay, previously when it was uh, delete rule was no action, you get uh, child record found error, right, integrity constraint, this one, child record found, but now I have changed the definition to on, on delete cascade. So now when I delete from the master table, my demo department, see it has been deleted, okay, so if I query my master table demo department, you can see that there are only two department present, 20 and 30. And now if I check my child table, as you say, I am saying it on delete cascade, meaning it will also delete from the child table. See, both my records, these two records with department ID 10, that is employee ID 100 and 101 are deleted. So what on delete cascade does it, if you delete a record from your parent table and if the, the, that record is being referenced by any child row in your child table, the child record is also deleted. Okay. So when I deleted this department ID 10 from my master table, that is demo department from here, there were two rows from my child table, that is demo employees that were referencing, that were employee ID 100 and 101. As you can see, there are, there were two uh, department IDs as 10. So both of them also got deleted. As you can see, they are not there. Now if I'll perform a rollback, I'll get all my records back. Say I'm performing a rollback. It says a rollback completed over here. Right. Now if I check my child table, um, I think something went wrong. Yeah, because I didn't commit my inserts, my rollback has also rolled back my inserts. So that has happened. So if I, if I show you this demo department over here, it has all three records back. This 10 got reverted. I'll just show the whole scenario again. I'll just insert four records into this. I'll commit it. Okay. So as you can see, this there are 
uh, four records employee ID 100, 101, 2 and 3 with department ID 10, 10, 20 and null ok so now when I delete from my master table now you can see that even the child record is deleted definitely the record has get deleted from the parent table demo underscore um, as you can see even the table uh, data has got dropped from here and simultaneously also the data got dropped from the child table now what I will do is now I will show you the other option that is the on delete set null so what on delete set null does is when you delete from the parent table the record that are referencing the parent table in the child table will be set to null only that columns data I'll just explain it as you can see in my master table that is demo department I have two um, I'll insert this one also employee ID I have three records department ID 20, 20 and 10, 20 and 30 I'll commit this okay I have my child table over here now I will add a child table name as demo underscore emp here I will just alter it and give foreign key constraint on department ID which will reference the department ID column in master table demo department okay so what I'll do is alter table table name add constraint constraint name foreign key which which is the column that is being referred is department ID it references the master table that is demo department with column department ID and at the end it will be on delete instead of cascade it will be set null okay so now I have altered the definition if I go in this and I'll refresh you can see that the now the delete rule is set null okay I'll insert few records into this table I'll commit that now if you see you have employee ID 100, 101, 2, 3 with employee name as Adam, Suriki, Rahul and Virat with department ID 10, 10, 20 and null so this 10, 10 are present because they are present in the master table 20 is present because it is present in the master table null is allowed you can have null values in your foreign key even there are when there are no null in primary key and unique key columns which it which it is referring to okay so that is there so now what I am doing is see you have a record in your child table that is demo underscore EMP so what if I will try and delete some records say department ID 10 from my master table that is demo department see there is child record present in demo EMP and still if I delete from the master table demo department see I have deleted it says one row delete see if it was it would have been this on delete no action you would have got an error saying child record is present but be because it is not that that's why I have kept it above like it always gives an error but these two won't give an error it would alter the uh, data in the child table okay so now when you query your child table you will see that for employee ID 100 and 101 we inserted 10 right but they have been now set, set to null because I have deleted the data with department ID 10 from the parent table see there is no department ID 10 here I have deleted it so what it did it it all also removed that department ID 10 from the child table made it null okay it has made it null over here fine so th this is the concept of uh, on delete clause with the foreign key if you put if you put on delete no action that means you cannot delete from the parent table records which are being referenced in the child table okay on delete cascade is like you can delete from the parent table even the records which are being referenced by your child table but your child records will also get deleted you delete the parent the child gets deleted that is on delete cascade fine and on delete set null is like if you delete the parent and if it the record is being referenced in the child table that re that column data becomes null only that data which is deleted from the parent table that will become null in the child table so these are the three ways through which you work with foreign keys so if, so if you have a requirement like if the parent table row get deleted you also should release uh, delete the child row you should use this on delete cascade
okay and if you want to set that uh, child data's value to null you should use on delete set null okay but mostly you will be using on delete no action where you will not allow the master data the parent tables data to get deleted updated if there are any child records present so i hope this video was informative and you guys enjoyed watching it and please do let me know your thoughts in the comments please do let me know how i can make my videos more useful to you guys um please do like share and subscribe this is kishan signing off thank you